Hello, welcome to Old Beginner Airsoft. This is my second video and I'm recording this on a very cheap little GoPro. So I got like three of these for 40 bucks. So I, now I have a total of uh, eight of them. But this is for an unboxing for the Boneyard Evike box. Um, I ordered something else to it, but like a dumbass, I didn't read the directions and found out it doesn't come with a wall charger. So I got to try and find one of those. So we'll start today. I almost did one of Airsoft GIs, but I don't know if I'll ever do anything with them again. I'm not too happy with them, to say the least. But I'll be doing a review of one of their mystery boxes that I got for the SMC9, which is. A really nice gun and I was pleasantly surprised. So, first thing we have, it looks like we have one of their, oh, nice, a Deadpool mask. That is cool. And it's a nice, nice. Oh boy, is this thing heavy. Might have to see if I can attach a, a GoPro mount to it up here somewhere. I do 3, 3D printing as well. Um, I've got my 3D printer set up right there. I have two of them, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's put this back in the, in the box. So that's pretty cool. Props off to them. I ordered one of their swag packs, and I was not impressed. I don't know if I'll ever do that again. But, all right, what do we have here? <laughs> I can see why this is in their boneyard. <laughs> I don't know why this wasn't thrown in the trash, but it's just a little cheap, no nothing gun. Um, I don't see the other part to it, so I guess we're SOL on that. Anyway, there. <laughs> That'll go in the trash. Unless I find the part and I can put it back together. That'll be. That'll be cool. So, looks like we have an HPA regulator, a CO2 Angel regulator. I'm not into the HPA yet. I'm not made of money, so. But, this is pretty interesting. Unscrew, come on. All right, I have no idea really what this is. I can't zoom in on or anything on this because it's across the room. I am in my gun room and my 3D printer room. So this will go into my dream box. So once I get it, I think that's for HPA. Uh, I have no idea. Actually, you know what? No, it's not. I do know what this is. This is for filling your gas guns with CO2. Huh. I don't know why you would need that, but that's pretty cool. So, all right, on to the next. Next, we have a armband. Color green is the EMG. It's got EMG, Crytac, and APS on it. I'm not sure... What all that does, I'll probably, it's probably a glow in the dark thing, so I'll, looks like it takes a 2032 battery. So I will try that. All right, I'll put a new battery in there and see if that works. Next, we have, ooh, a charging handle. EMG Firearms. It's the EMG F1 Firearms, which is a nice looking little tire. I'll show you guys how I have my guns right now and I've never played a day in my life yet. I'm still waiting for everything to open up and so but this is a nice little charging handle. So um I do have one that I've done an inner, inner barrel in red. Maybe I'll do the charging handle with that as well. Cool. And then we have a mid cap M4 mat or no it's gotta be a mid cap because there's no uh, oh wait a second is this a flash mag? Is this a flash mag? Oh, yes. I have a flash mag for uh, 
Oh, I can see why it's in here. So, I can order a new handle for this and see how it does. But that's not bad. Ooh, hey, I might have uh, just found my uh, stuff. Okay, I'll shut up now until I can get to it. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so I'm missing teeth. Um, I wish I could blend that on airsoft, but nope, that's back from uh, the old days. So I have an IMAX B6AC professional. It looks like one of the buttons is missing off of it here. But, and it sounds like it's inside. So, I can see why this was in their box. Actually, this is almost exactly like the charger that I bought from them. That was the uh, Vista Power. So, but this one does come with the power cord, the attachments for your Deans. This comes with, oh, the small one. Large Mia. This is to hook it up to a car battery or whatever else. Um, so uh, yes, that does plug into there. So luckily, I have my soldering station and everything else. I do do my own Dean's connectors and stuff like that. I have my own Chrono. When I do the SMC9 review, I will do the the Chrono. I actually shoot out my this room window, I've got a whole big empty lot out there. I usually set up a few targets and uh, I've cut them out of foam and shoot them out there. I try and paint them black so it's easier to see the BBs. But So yeah, I'll have to take this apart and uh, that makes up for it until I can find a charger for the other one and then I'll have one for most of my batteries. So awesome, that's cool. I'm glad it came with all the attachments. And then it also does come with a 7.415C LiPo, which is nice. But it does have the small Tamiya character uh, thing on it, so um, I'll have to switch that over to Dean's, and then I'll have to check the battery and see if it'll see if it'll keep working. So cool. All right, and then, wow, we also here have a, I don't know if it's a laser, it's got an awfully small port in it, or if it's a uh, flashlight, but boy, it looks like somebody treated this thing pretty damn rough. Oh yeah, they've totally screwed up the threads in here, so this is Probably something I can try and re-thread it, but I don't know if I have a, a tap or die that big, because even these threads are looking pretty crappy. If not, maybe I can rig up a, a spacer in there to make it work. It does sort of tighten. So... I know, like I said, this is my, only my second video. So, then we also have a uh, drum mag. Oh. I don't know what brand that is. It is a twin drum mag. Um, I don't know if I have anything. It's probably one of my LMGs. I don't have it right here. I don't know. I'll have to check on that too. So, all right. So, and then we have, ooh, nice. A lighter, an Ace Tech lighter. Somebody has uh, broken this off into there. So, let's see. I can try and, uh, um, yeah, I'll have to take that apart, but it's a lighter BT, it's a BT lighter. I have the uh, lighter BTS, or B, lighter SBT, and uh, the, so if I can get this one working, that'll be awesome. Alright, what else? Oh, hey, we have a, a nice belt. I've needed one of these. I have my chest, or my 
the whole thing on here, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully, uh, my fat ass can fit in it. It does seem pretty adjustable, so cool. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Uh, and then, ooh, nice. Now, all I need to do, I should, I knew I should have ordered the shells. Just wasn't sure, but. Um, oh, okay. There's some sort of charging cord that's probably for the BT. Looks like we got, there isn't much left else in here. Oh, I do have a, this is a pressure switch for something with the mount. It's, uh, sight something with the pressure switch. Um, I'll have to look into that and, and see. Yeah, this goes to that for whatever it was. I wonder if this will fit into here. I'll bet you that's what this is. This is the pressure switch for. This is probably a laser sight from what it looks like on the air, on there with a pressure switch that goes with it. So, if nothing else, hopefully I can take it apart and use the pressure switch. So those go right there with that, and there is a CR123 battery in here. This is the mount for that, which I still don't understand. But, um, a power charger for the Bluetooth, and this is the... Nice. I've never owned a grenade. Never had the chance to throw one of these airsoft grenades. Um, in my first video, I did say that I was in the military, which I was, but... That's a whole other story for a different era. So that's pretty cool. It's a, all I need now is to try and get the shells, and I think those come with the pins. So, But I might uh, charge this up and see what it does. I have a few of the, what's the name? The Millionaire C7 Viper's favorite is paper. So, that's cool. This isn't a bad little mystery box. Um, right offhand, I don't even remember what I paid for it. It was... Uh, I'll have to double check and see. Alright, let's check the real phone real quick. Uh, I only paid uh, 15 bucks for it. So... Even if I have to put a couple bucks into some of this stuff, um, it would not be all that bad. You know, a new kit like this for the flash mag for my M4, which I love this. The one I have for my Platinum AK-70 or my SR-47, I have a flash mag for that and I wound it up and I did not have to worry about winding it at all when I was out there test firing it and I love that little gun the lighter BT I'm pretty sure if I got an ease out and stuff I could uh, fix that one I'll throw some batteries into this other stuff and I'm pretty sure even the IMAX thing which I'm not sure how much is on their site um, B6AC, B6AC, that's $55, so even if the battery type button doesn't work, I can take it off of one of the, well it sounds like it's inside, so I can figure that out, that's not a problem, so that's $55 there, that is awesome, I think that's a great box, um, I know they did throw some trash in there, but um, that's cool. I really do uh, think it was well worth it. So that's awesome. You guys have a good day.